there are a lot of reasons people get into trucking. Um, I think first on the top of the list is uh, financial. You know, some people, they're in a dead-end job. They really can't get moving um, up or forward. And I don't know anybody in their right mind who wants to go backwards or down. A lot of times, you know, we look into certain situations as far as trucking go, and we wait a good part of that situation being that, uh, you know, most people you see that drive a truck, they really have a carefree type of attitude, even though the rest of the world is, uh, you know, uh, going, uh, you know, going down the toilet bowl, you know, truck drivers seem to have a really cool, really uh, great and happy uh, outlook on life. I mean, people can't understand it. You know, you you can't really knock a truck driver, an average truck driver. You can't knock them, you know, off their uh, off their happy guy pedestal. And a lot of people look at that. And I say this job and many other careers, uh, they look at the good part of it. A lot of times, you know, that motivates them to get into this industry. And a lot of times they are completely unaware or what they're going up against, you know, <clears throat> with trucking, uh, you know, there's a lot of things to, I say, not trying to be negative. I'm just giving you the reality of all the, um, uh, or, or as to the situation you're about to step into. Uh, sometimes you can, uh, run into long delays. Uh, you can run into a lot of disrespect. And that be being that at the warehouse or on the road and sometimes by other truckers, you know, it's a uh, complete disrespect. Um, uh, don't come into this industry looking for a pat on the back because you drove 1,200 miles or you drove 2,000 miles all through the night through all kind of weather. That's that's part of the industry that is that most truck drivers, we keep that we keep that kind of under the wraps because. You know, most people, they do not realize how much it really, really takes to be a driver. I mean, you have to be, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say it's, you know, like a, a invincible type of person, but you got to be almost fearless because you come across a lot of situations that will make the average man and make them run, you know, and make them run in the other direction with their tail between their legs. But with a truck driver, we see these obstacles and these things and we just go right through them. There's no stopping because, I mean, number one, we got to get that load there. We got to keep that freight moving. If that freight does not get there, you know, a plant can be shut down or, or you know, uh, they can come up with, you know, a product comes up missing. And most of the time, um, a company is a company's very existence is depending on if that driver can get through the night and get their freight there in the morning. These people are, I mean, they they they, they they're really they're really uh, doing business by the margins. Meaning, the minute whatever product is on their docks, the minute it the minute it's depleted, their only hope is that this truck driver will will get that product there to replenish their supply and keep them in business. Um, and that's what I mean by, you know, don't go looking for a pat on the back. You know, we're just here. We do our job. We do it proudly. And uh, we do it consistently. Um, if you're in this business to make people happy or to get accolades and awards and <clears throat> you know, to get hoisted on the shoulders and carried out like you just won the Super Bowl, then uh, the best thing I can tell you is to get out while you're ahead. It is a completely thankless business. But uh, the average driver, that's not what he looks for. You know, uh, as you go along in, in this career, you're going to find that um, a lot of times... Uh, you know, uh, being thanked for your job is, it, I don't know, sometimes as far as I, I'm concerned, it I see it almost as an insult. 
the uh, the thank you for me is the relief that I see on the customer's face when I show up with their product and get it off their dock. You know, because um, I know the minute I turn my back and leave out, and they're gonna say, "Hey, these uh these these you know these truckers uh, does this or every negative thing you can think of in the trucking industry." So. All right, with that said, uh, that was my little mini rant. So I'm going to get to the meat and potatoes of what I made or what I uh, came to make this video for. This is, uh, these are questions you need to ask yourself before you join this industry, before you drop your hard-earned money on, uh, on, on truck school or be before you waste your time at an employer-sponsored uh, trucking company. Look, man, let's, let's, let's sit down for a minute, okay? So ask yourself some questions, all right? Um, you know, did you make a hasty decision? Did, did you, I don't know, were you bored? And you said, oh, you know, maybe I should try this like a, you know, like an Ernest Hemingway type. You know, you want to go out and be adventurous and try this or try that. Um, this is not the business to have that, that frame of mind. Uh, to me, that's a careless uh, mindset. And it will not only get you killed, but you could, you know, very well kill people on the road because you have a careless mindset. And when care people with a careless mindset, they tend to not take trucking very seriously and they do not do pre-trips properly. And they just, uh, they just wreak havoc on the road. So uh, here's some questions you need to ask yourself before you start this career. Are you running from something in your life? I mean, you know, are you running from, you know, uh, the local drug dealer? Are you running from, I don't know, extortion charges? Are you running from something in your life? Are you running from raising kids? Are you running from, uh, or child support? Uh, <clears throat> are you running from your spouse? Are you running from something? Uh, if you are, then this is not the career for you. Can you drive for periods of, you know, long periods of time, more than 100 miles? You know, can you drive? Can you see yourself driving for 300 miles? Can you see yourself driving for 600 miles? I mean, I know some people, uh, they told me they can't get past 120 miles. That, that's, that's a big ordeal to them to go 120 miles. But to a truck driver... Man, you're just getting started. You, you're just uh, getting ready to stretch out at 120 miles. So, if you can't drive for long periods of time, you need to think about joining. You need to uh, have a second thought about joining this career. Are you disciplined enough to drive on your own without direct supervision? If you can't do a job without somebody directing you, your every move, step by step, telling you exactly what to do. Uh, you don't want to be driving a truck. But once you make that right turn out of the gate, you are on your own. The company, it, they're not going to direct you where to go, where to stop, how fast to go, when to make a right turn, when to exit, when to, when to enter. They don't tell you nothing. They give you the paperwork. They expect you to be there when on the day it's supposed to deliver. Uh, anything in between that, there's no super supervision at all. Does your wife or your significant other, are they at least 50% on board with you be go being gone for up to a month? You're going to be gone sometimes up to two months uh, and sometimes as little as three weeks. Maybe sometimes as little as two weeks, but, you know, I mean, is your loved one, are they on board with you being gone that long? Uh, you got to make sure. I mean, at least 50%. That's what I say in my book. If they're not, then yeah, you better uh, you better think about something else. Do you have at least one and a half years of work experience? And I don't mean driving a truck. I mean, hey, have you worked at Burger King? You can work at Burger King, McDonald's, Walmart, Target. Uh, you got to before you get started. Make sure you have a solid one and a half to two years of work experience or work history. Uh, if not, you're going to have a very, very hard time getting a job. Very hard time. Do you have your health under control? Uh, getting on with some of these companies, you know, they do a medical check. 
And it's not like the good old days where they just check your blood pressure and, uh, I don't know, have you do a couple of jumping jacks. They do, you know, some of these companies do a full medical. And if you're off by, I mean, by even a little bit, they're not going to, you basically probably won't even get your license, let alone get on with these trucking companies. They don't want nobody passing out from diabetes or from having a, you know, underlying heart conditions, you know, things like that. So, uh. Get your health under control uh, before you get started in this industry. Um, are you highly social and crave social interaction all the time? You know, if, if you like uh, going out to the club or hanging out at the local spot every weekend or every other day, and, uh, you know, you're like the center of attention in your family, and, you know, you just always got to be around somebody. You just can't stand being in a room by yourself. Um, this is not the business for you. Uh, in this business, you'll be in a solitary state for, I mean, what, for up to two days, three days sometimes before you get to a terminal or to a warehouse. And even then, uh, these people expect you to get in and out of their place of business. You know, they're not one for sitting around having long, drawn out conversations. And uh, I've seen uh, many a driver, uh, they they um, they walk up and waiting for, you know, or they walk up to you and they're getting ready to talk. And here, man, you got to rip and run. You, you're ripping and running. And this guy wants to have a long, drawn-out conversation. Uh, this is not going to happen in, in this industry. Um, so make sure if you're a highly social, if you're a social butterfly or I don't know if you want to call a guy a butterfly, but, you know. Um, if you're very social, then, uh, you might want to avoid this, uh, this, in this industry or this career. Maybe you want to do something like management. So, uh, or manage trucking management. Uh, are you having child support issues? If you have any kind of issues with child support, uh, you might get your license. You might get on with a trucking company, but the minute you miss that payment, they're going to snatch your license and, uh, you will not be driving a truck again until you get everything straight with child support. 